Hello guys, welcome. This is NumPy matrix multiplication tutorial. And this tutorial, I wanna show you how to multiply matrices. Matrix is a mathematical concept, but a matrix is a two dimensional array in Python. Each element in the array has two indices. As you can see here, we have two, uh, two, two dimensional arrays, A and B. Uh, so uh, uh, we can uh, determine the shape of the two dimensional arrays using uh, print a dot shape and b dot shape. Sorry, this is not comma shape. So the first array, array A has four rows and two columns, and array B has two rows and four columns. So this matrix is four by two and two by four matrix in mathematics, in mathematical concept. Uh, so uh, to multiply the matrices in Python, uh, there are three ways of uh, or to perform matrix multiplication in Python, that is a NumPy uh, function. The first one is NP dot dot, and we pass uh, A and B as a two dimensional array, and we get the result of a scalar product or uh, a two dimensional array as well, or uh, a multiplication of uh, each element in the two-dimensional array. Uh, the second one is multiply method from NumPy array. So we get the result of the element-wise matrix multiplication of two arrays. And the third one is math mule. This is another method to that returns the matrix product of two arrays. But in this tutorial, I want to show you the first one that is dot product. Uh, in array multiplication, there are two ways. The first one is scalar multiplication. A scalar is a number like one, two, or three. So in scalar multiplication, uh, we get the, uh, we must multiply a scalar by a matrix and each element in the matrix is multiplied by the scalar, which makes the output is the same shape. For example, let's have a scalar, uh, a scalar multiplication. So we multiply each element in the two dimensional array by a scalar number we represent S is for example, two. And I wanna multiply NP dot A by the scalar, I mean, S a scalar, uh, multiply matrix A by the scalar number S. Let's first uh, print out matrix A. Matrix A is uh, four by two matrix. And I want to multiply each element in the matrix by a scalar number. The scalar number is one. So uh, the result would be uh, like this. It multiplies two by zero, uh, two by three, two, and two by one and so on. So we get in the first one is zero. That is because two by zero is zero. The second one, two by three is, two by three is six. Uh, the second one, two by two is four. Uh, I mean, by one is two and 
2 by minus 1 is minus 2. So in a scalar multiplication, we get the same dimension uh, as the original matrices uh, because the scalar uh, is a single number and we multiply each element in the matrix by that scalar number. So we, the result would be the same dimension. The dimension will not be changed. And also, uh, we mul if we multiply NP dot a matrix by a scalar, I mean, uh, a scalar, uh, a matrix by a scalar, so the result would be the same. If you interchange this, now I multiply a matrix by a scalar. Here, I multiply a scalar by a matrix. So uh, the results uh, never be changed in the scalar multiplication. And the second way is, the second way, uh, way is dot product of two two-dimensional array. Let's assume we have two-dimensional arrays, print A and B. We have array A and array B, or matrix A and matrix B. Matrix A is, uh, we can, deter, uh, we can uh, see that it is four by two matrix, and we wanna multiply two by four matrix. And the dot product, two matrices, we're multiplying two matrices, uh, the order matter. That means that matrix A multiplied by matrix B is not the same as matrix B multiplied by multi matrix A. That is uh, matrix A multiplied by B is not the same as matrix B multiplied by matrix A. It's not like a scalar product. So uh, in this case, let's try to see, for example, NP dot, let's multiply A by B, and the result is a four by four dimension. Look, uh, it is four by two, uh, four by two uh, by two by four. This is what uh, four multiply, the result would be four by four matrix. If you uh, interchange the matrix multiplication, you get two by two matrix. That means uh, two by four, that is B, matrix B, multiplied by four by two. So you are looking for the first row by column. Just multiply a row by column. So uh, let's try to determine how you, you can uh, find in the first one, A by B is, first multiply the first row by the first column in the second matrix. That is, for example, zero by one, uh, zero multiplied by one plus the sum of each multiplication and three by four, three multiplied by four, the result will be tool. That is tool. Again, we multiply the first row with the second column. That is two by four. So that is zero multiplied by two plus three multiplied by one equals three by one is three. That is three. And the third uh, column, the first row, the third column, zero by, by zero is uh, uh, the same, that is zero. And we multiply three by minus three, that is minus three. And the last column and the first row, zero by two is zero plus three by minus four is minus 12. 
that is minus 12. Now we finished the first row uh, multiplied by each column in the second matrix. Now let's go to the second row and multiply by each column in the second matrix. One by one plus minus one minus, uh, by four is minus four. One minus four is minus three. And the same is true for the second until we finish uh, each rows in the first dimension. And what about uh, if we change NP dot B by A? The, so the result is different because we multiply B is two by four dimension and A is four by two dimension. So the result would be uh, we, when, when you multiply rows, the first rows by the first columns in the, that is row multiplied by column. The sum of the each elements of the first matrix and each element is the second matrix. So for example, in this case, we just looking for the first row in the second uh, uh, array B, that is one by zero, zero, plus two by one, two, plus one by two, two, two plus two is four, then two by five is 10, plus four is 14, that is 14. So we get two by two, uh, dimensions, not like the first one. So the scalar multiplication is different from dot products uh, of two two-dimensional arrays. So this is uh, today's uh, tutorial. If you like this video, subscribe, share, and also send a thanks gift to support Epitalab. Thanks for watching today.